Alrighty, so let's uh, create a navigation bar. I'm not going to be too precise with it. I'm just going to drag out something, something like this. And I'm using the rounded rectangles tool, rounded rectangle tool, with a radius of five pixels. So I got that drawn out. I'm going to double click and give it a color, something like a dark gray. Let's just zoom in so we can see it. Okay. So let me scale this up just a little bit. I'm working on my smaller monitor, so it's a little hard to see. I like to normally work at 100%, but I don't have the side to side view, so I have to live with it. All right, so let's uh, double click there, go to the blending option, uh, do your gradient overlay. And I like to give this a very slight gradient. So this first one is a dark gray, and the second one I click on here, and I get this uh, this eyedropper. I'm just gonna click right here, just so it's very slight. And then I bring up the scaling to 150, and then drag up a bit, so you can barely see it, but it's it's there. So when you have that, go ahead and duplicate that layer, and create a new layer. Then double click this, and bring in the fill to zero. You can uncheck gradient. Go to stroke, change it to white. You want the size at one pixel and the position on the inside. And what that does is it creates a small white stroke on the inside. And then I go to the move tool and arrow down just one pixel, just so it has this edge up here. Then select both of these layers, Command E or Control E to combine it. And then I'm going to zoom out and make a selection. Let's zoom in so we can see the selection better. And I'm going to bring it just to this curve, right where it starts to curve, right here, and delete. So you can see what that did. It gave it a really nice looking highlight. So bring down the opacity to, I don't know, about 40. And you can see that it's very subtle, but it looks nice. So once you have that, we can go ahead and stay neat and call this, I don't know, highlight and this one we'll call it BG. Make a new layer, grab your text tool, and wait for it to load. Give it a second. And then click here, and we'll call it home. We'll make the font size, I don't know, 50, 15 pixels or something. Do it again, we'll call uh, portfolio and then contact us. So grab all three of those, grab your select tool, then click this, or your move tool, and then click align the top edges, then click and drag down. And if you see that pinkish purple line, I have that enabled, and you do that by going to view, um, I forget what it is, um, show smart guides. Okay, so when you have that, one other subtle detail that I did was zooming in over here. You make a new layer, grab your pencil tool, click and drag to here, grab your move tool and just duplicate that. And then line it up and command I to turn it black. Then bring this opacity way down just so it looks like it's a cutout inside of that, like a little cutout spacer. Then you can grab both of those and scale them down like that. And then grab your one of these uh, navigation things and we'll I don't know, call it contact and then we'll do another one called maps. Select both of those and lower the, uh, the font size to about 13. And then we also want to change the color of it. And I'm going to give it like a light gray color. Something like that. And then if you really wanted, once you start doing the coding for it, you can have the hover effect, maybe turn it to white. Just an idea I had. So let's drag those apart. Let's group this spacer together and name it uh, spacer launcher face and drag to the side 
And I like to throw in some icons. So I go to this findicons.com. And let's search for phone. And you want to make sure on the side for license you have commercial use free. Let's grab this one. Download PNG. And then let's look for pin. And let's grab this one. Download PNG. And then on our desktop, we have the saved files. You can go ahead and drag those into Photoshop. And then drag this in. Drag this in. And then zoom in so we can make them about the same size. So I'm going to scale this in. Zoom in even more. All right, so now let's line this up by our text to see what size we need, because that looks a little too big. So again, let's scale it down, something like that. Let's select both of these, bring it here, just to make this neater. Group this, and we will call this I don't know, side small face navigation. Then we'll group these three together, name this nav links. All right, so zoom out and let's close this up so you can see it better. There we go, we got a nice looking navigation bar. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. It's a lot of steps, but it's really simple in the end. Hopefully you learned something.